Deep in the forest of Belgium, just outside the little village of Muneau, lies a dark castle. A place so forbidden, many locals refuse to even speak of it. Shrouded in secrecy and heavily guarded, it is rumored to be home to unspeakable horrors. Officially, its name is Chateau Amaroy, aka the Mothers of Darkness Castle. It has been accused of being the epicenter of the Illuminati underworld, hosting some of the elite's darkest rituals and high-level monarch programming. Join me as we unlock the secrets of Mothers of Darkness Castle and discover why it has earned the nickname the most evil place on Earth. One investigator said it was like going back to the Middle Ages. One of the Illuminati's top ritual castles. And of a thousand points of light, The elite love their secluded castles and stately homes far from the prying eyes of the public where they can engage in perverse and strange practices for the worship of their ancient gods. In Belgium lies just such a castle, the menacing Chateau Amaroy. It has been named by researchers as one of the main ritual centers of the Illuminati, but researching it proves difficult. Little information about this castle is available and the owners appear to be doing everything they can to keep it that way. Almost no pictures of the interior exist online. Even the BBC and National Geographic have allegedly been denied access. The castle's wooded perimeter is heavily guarded with cameras, electric fences, trip wires, and more. The castle was originally built for Prince Philip of the notorious saxe coburg gotha royal bloodline, the same family as the British royals, who are descended from Vlad the Impaler, the original Dracula. Today, it is owned by an elite family of Belgian industrialists called the Solvays. The Solvays are one of the wealthiest families in Belgium. They own large pharmaceutical and chemical companies responsible for the notorious drug Prozac and the industrial scale production of fluoride and fluoride products that get added to the water we drink. Although officially named Chateau Amaroy, the castle is better known as the Mothers of Darkness Castle. Due to it being the alleged meeting place of a special rank of Illuminati witches known as Mothers of Darkness. Mothers of Darkness are high adept witches who come from old satanic families. The macabre rituals they perform would make your blood run cold. The candidates for the Mothers of Darkness are subjected to ritual abuse from childhood, resulting in a dissociative mind that is easy to program. Most high-level Illuminati witches have some dissociated identities known as multiple personalities. Mothers of Darkness are programmed and initiated within the mysterious Chateau Amaroy. Mothers of Darkness uh, seem to be like deep satanic priestesses that have also been raised uh, daughters and or granddaughters and have been over many of the women involved. So they are deeply well known in the, in the underground of uh, satanic ritual abuse and multiple personality disorder. But these elite witches aren't the only reason the castle maintains such strict privacy. The site is also said to be home to the Belgian elite's satanic eyes wide shut parties, which involve children and are usually filmed for blackmail. This was all revealed during the infamous Dutroux scandal that nearly caused a revolution in Belgium and saw the resignation of top officials. It all began in the early 90s when children started going missing in alarming numbers. It took Belgian authorities four years to arrest a man named Marc Dutroux, despite numerous credible tip-offs that he was kidnapping and holding girls prisoner, including one from his own mother. Dutroux was procuring these children for the Belgian political elite and aristocracy to use as party favors for their blackmail operations. 
After the scandal broke, one Belgian senator noted that such parties were part of a system which operates to this day and is used to blackmail highly placed people. The same system of blackmail operates all over the Western world and is one of the Illuminati's primary means of control. The Dutro witness files are replete with stories of such parties taking place in castles, and one specifically named the Chateau Amaroy. And so I, I exposed this ritual castle in southern Belgium. And uh, at first, you know, this was in 1991, and, and a number of years transpired, and it was like I had, I had, I had, I was a voice in the wilderness and nobody had heard, but eventually it did get heard. And what happened was, is in Belgium, the Belgium government was almost was toppled. They had big protests in Brussels a couple times where there were over a half a million Belgians protesting their government. And the reason why is because there, there was a big scandal that broke loose where people had discovered that there were satanic covens in their government, the government of Belgium, and this got connected in, uh, and people then were able to connect what was going on in some of the people back to this castle that I had exposed. Because Belgium is the global center of the European Union and NATO, many of the so-called elite from around the world attend these parties. A Belgian newspaper reported that a former commissioner of the European Union was among a group of judges, lawyers, and policemen who attended orgies organized by one of Dutro's assistants. Sorry, this comes from the uh, Sunday Times back in 1996, but here goes. Quote, Brussels satanic sects involved, involved in bizarre rites, including human sacrifice, are being linked by Belgian police with this summer's string of uh, grisly pedophile murders in which at least four children died. Five witnesses came forward last week and described how black masses were held and which children were killed in front of audiences were said to have included prominent members of Belgian society. Ah. Many of these witnesses describe hunting parties where children were allowed to run in the forest and then hunted down like animals. These adrenaline pumping events are said to be a favorite of the psychopathic elite. Abuse survivors Kathy O'Brien, Fiona Barnett, and Paul Benassi all have described similar hunting parties known to the elite as the most dangerous game. It was early evening when they played Most Dangerous Game. I was stripped of my clothing. I was allowed to wear tennis shoes and told that I could have a head start and begin running before I would be hunted down. My exposure to it resulted in my believing I had no place to run and no place to hide. And it seemed there were no limits to what could happen in my existence at that time was the most extreme, one of the most extreme situations I think I ever, I ever survived. One investigator remarked that it was like something out of the Middle Ages. Dutro was heavily connected to the satanic underworld. One cult we know he provided children for is called Abrasics. Abrasics is an openly satanic group which names itself after a pot-bellied demon called Abraxas. In 1996, police discovered a note to Dutro from a mysterious person calling themselves Anubis. The note informed Dutro that a special ceremony was coming up and instructed him to provide quote-unquote presents for the high priestess of the Abraxas order and even gave specific details as to the age and sex the presents should be. No doubt some of these children Dutro kidnapped were delivered to the Mothers of Darkness Castle, where researchers have reported that child sacrifices take place nearly every day. And I gave the location. Eyewitnesses who had been in, in rituals in the castle 
where children were, were sacrificed and the blood of these children is drained and, and quill pens are, are filled up and the blood is used to write an account of what the Illuminati have done that day and bring about the plan. Ultimately, Dutro was jailed, but his high-profile clients got off scot-free. A curtain of secrecy descended over the entire case, and the investigation was stopped from going any further before the rest of the ring could be exposed. Dutro, who was the predator isolated, in the quotes, who made a mystery, to protect all the immense trees of Belge that implique, in the first place, the two Belges who have succeeded. It is no accident that this den of Satanism is located in Belgium. The small, picturesque nation on the border of France has been named by alternative researchers as an Illuminati capital and headquarters of the New World Order. It is home to the European Union and NATO, making it a central hub for high-level Luciferian rituals. International financiers, politicians, and businessmen come to Belgium for business and make a stopover at the Chateau Amaroy, or one of the region's many other satanic estates, to participate in the sacrifices and blood rituals required of an Illuminatus. Remember the Dutch banker Ronald Bernard, who claimed the top world leaders and financiers are forced to take part in satanic activities, and he himself was asked to attend a child sacrifice. It was the good life. But then at some point, I was invited, which is why I'm telling you all this, to participate in sacrifices abroad. That was the breaking point. Children. You were asked to do that? Yes. And I couldn't do that. The purpose of the whole thing, eventually, in that world, is that they have everybody in their pocket. You need to be susceptible to blackmail. And blackmailing me proved to be very hard if I look back on it. According to researcher David Icke's book, The Biggest Secret, Belgium or Belgium was actually established to be a headquarters for the satanic elite. And it is for this reason that the Saxa Coburg Gotha, aka the Windsor bloodline, was imposed to rule over it. Belgium is still ruled by a royal family, who are very much above the law. The aristocracy is deeply involved in satanic secret societies. At the 88 Republican National Convention, GOP loyalists cheered as George H.W. Bush took the stage to accept the party's presidential nomination. It was the first time America would hear a strange, mystical phrase that would become synonymous with President Bush, a thousand points of light. I've spoken of a thousand points of light. During dream and a thousand points of light. Despite no one knowing what it meant, he went on to say it again at his inaugural address. Once again, few in the audience, except for members of the Illuminati, knew the significance of that bizarre phrase, or the location to which it secretly referred. Inside Mothers of Darkness Castle is a special room used as the place of ceremony for the highest orders of the satanic hierarchy. Inside the ornate room are balconies, and a magnificent dome containing 1,000 lights. This is what Bush was alluding to by a thousand points of light. But nobody bothered to question that. And he said that at least four to six times. I talked to a lady uh, just recently in Baltimore. She came up right after the meeting in Baltimore and she came up and she said, everything that you said tonight, I can verify. She said, because I was George Bush's campaign manager. And she proved it. She pulled out the campaign uh, manager badge that she had when she was campaign manager, when he was going into to, for, for presidential election. And she said, I was there the night that he made that address. 
And she says, now I understand what that meant. Because she said, I looked at George and I said, after he stepped off the platform, I said, George, I want to be, I, I don't know about that New World Order thing. She said, but I want to be a part of that thousand points of light. And she said, he grabbed her by the shoulder, looked her sternly in the face and said, I have no control over that. It is also very telling that President Trump drew special attention to this old phrase at a rally held in Montana in 2018, reminding the audience of the bizarre nature and inexplicable meaning of the term. All the rhetoric you see here, the thousand points of light. What the hell was that, by the way? Thousand points of light. I never quite got that one. I'm trying to say, what the hell is that? Has anyone ever figured that one out? YouTube has videos of people attempting to go near the Mothers of Darkness castle and discovering elaborate security measures around the perimeter. One man who found the gate open claims his girlfriend went to knock on the door and was never heard from again. He went to the authorities, but the local police said the people at the Chateau Amaroy claimed they never saw his girlfriend and threatened him with trespassing charges. There are even rumors that the castle has tunnels beneath it that are connected to other locations. From Vlad the Impaler to Elizabeth Bathory, who bathed in the blood of her young servant girls, history provides numerous accounts of psychopathic elites whose victims are lured to dark castles, never to be seen again. Today, children continue to go missing, and a girl's body was found on the estate of Queen Elizabeth II. Maybe those tales hold more truth than we dare to admit. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And a special thanks to the supporters over at Patreon and PayPal for helping make productions like this possible. And now I'm excited to introduce official channel merchandise. Just follow the link in the description to check out all new J Myers documentaries, t-shirts, and hoodies.